Evolutionists claim that the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of supposed years old. The Bible tells us it was all created 6,000 years ago. But evolutionists cannot possibly be right. You see, if the Earth and the universe were really billions of years old, how do you explain the following? This is research having to do with the very famous bird fossil, the Archaeopteryx. Please notice that this information comes from the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the most prestigious scientific body in the United States, and published in 2010. Concerning Archaeopteryx remains, I will read quotes from the research paper. Here we present chemical imaging, which shows that portions of the feathers are not impressions, but are, in fact, remnant body fossil structures, maintaining elemental compositions that are completely different from the embedding geological matrix, meaning that this isn't rock. This is part of the original bone, part of the original feathers. Continuing our most striking result, that elevated zinc levels associated with the skull and other bones have persisted over geological time and most likely, along with phosphorus and sulfur, are remnants of the original bone chemistry. Continuing, striking and previously unknown details about the chemical preservation of soft tissues as they see it striking because they believe that this is millions and millions of years old, but striking and previously unknown details about the chemical preservation of soft tissue, elemental distribution of patterns most likely related to the organism's life processes, insights into the chemistry of the fossilization process and details of curation history, supposedly according to them, of course from an evolutionary time scale, millions and millions of years old, and they're saying, wait a minute, this can't possibly be true based on what we're finding. And the truth is, of course, that God created these birds only a few thousand years ago, exactly as recorded in the Bible. You really can trust the Bible at the age of the earth.